encourage you to what's happening with it man it's your boy Travi J back at you with another video man today we winding down y'all today I have in hand what could possibly be my last pickup of 2023 man I'm working on the deal right now for one more shoe that I didn't grab man and I really want this shoe but the numbers got to be right, man. We talking numbers right now, so uh, we haven't agreed upon a deal yet. But if everything goes well, I go pick up the shoe tomorrow, and I will show you all that shoe tomorrow. And that, my friends, will be the last pickup of 2023. But if everything falls through, the shoe I'm about to show you all is going to be my last pickup of 2023, man. So with that being said, man, we're going to dive straight on into it. But before we do that, man, how's everybody doing today, man? It's Friday. You know, hope everybody's looking forward to the weekend, man. You know, we winding down about to close out 2023, man. You know, we about to welcome 2024. So, hope everybody has got their New Year's resolutions, their goals planned out, man. I know I got mine, you know what I mean? And uh, 2024 is going to be a hell of a year, man. So, hope everybody is ready to crush their goals next year, man, and get to it, man, and just go all gas, no breaks, you know what I'm saying, because that's what we're planning to do right here on this channel, you know what I mean, so, speaking of that, man, if this is your first time pulling up and checking out your boy, man, go ahead and tap that subscribe button, smash that like button, hit that notification bell, so that way you're notified every single time I drop some heat, you know what I mean, and also, if you want to see some dope fits and fly kicks, man, y'all already know, man, y'all got to follow me on the gram, Travi J officials where you can find me now this is where you're gonna find my outfit of the day my kicks of the day things like that man some sneaker app w's anything man just some random posts or whatever man but you know we definitely gonna get active and more engaged on Instagram you know what I mean because sometimes I only post when I got a dope outfit or something like that but we definitely gotta you know get more engaged I do post a lot on my stories though you know what I mean but as uh, far as like my actual timeline we got to get more active on there so we will be doing that as well man so make sure you follow me on there and it'll truly be greatly appreciated all right y'all so with all that out of the way y'all probably already know what shoe this is man you know it's the last release from jordan brand but i think it's a dope one so let's go ahead and check them out all right let's get it okay y'all so bam here we go right here we got an olive green and orange box for starters man but as you can see you know nothing fancy nothing special uh just an olive green box with uh nike branding written in orange across the front there uh let's peel back the box you do have a lot number right there on the inside of the lid and uh you do have a green sticker right here on the side of the box as well so uh diving on in man we got the air jordan one retro high og craft Colorway is going to be Celadon Sky J Light Olive. Went with a size 9. Recommend going true to size in your Air Jordan 1s. And I just told y'all the name. So let's go ahead and get these guys out of the box. And let's go ahead and take a look at them. And bam. Yes, sir. We got the Air Jordan 1 High OG Craft Celadons, man. So, um... This one right here was a weird release, man. I mean, these released last Saturday. I'm just not getting this pair in. They actually came in on yesterday, but I just did not get a chance to uh, review the shoe. But, um, of course, you know, with Christmas being last Monday, man, you know, that delayed shipping times. But uh, these are dope Jordan 1, man. I may be biased because I'm a Jordan 1 guy, but um, these are nice. But these were not available everywhere. I mean, these were actually limited, in my opinion. I mean, the only place that... I could see to get them was the sneakers app and that's why I got this pair so um, but you know my hibis didn't have them no Foot Locker no DTLR no champs none of those stores had these shoes you know for raffle now hibis sports did have them online but just no stores in my area got them so I just said you know what well you know I guess we're just gonna go ahead and hit them up on the sneakers app man and um, I knew this shoe was gonna sit so I mean I wasn't worried at all about copying these um, you know, this is the shoe after Christmas and, you know, it's just kind of one of those, you know, filler shoes, if you will, you know what I mean, just to get us through the year, man. But as y'all can see, man, I mean, look at the materials on these guys. On that olive green, I mean, that's a nice new buck, high quality grade new buck, uh, nice two-tone motion. You know, when I rub my fingers back and forth on it, very nice, man. I mean, this is crazy right here. Then up at the top right here on your Jordan Wings logo, it's kind of like a light 
sail or it's, it's more of a yellow you know uh it looks more yellow to me a very very light or faint yellow at the top on the wings logo you have a nice orange wrapped around your ankle collar as well and it seems to have like a nylon finish to it i thought this was going to be a new buck at the top but this has actually got like a nylon feel to it but you know still nice bright orange that pops uh you got the same deal on your nike check on the mid panel right here same deal same material uh just got like a nylon finish to it you do have like a white stitching that goes across the nike check not too crazy about that that's probably the only takeaway i have from the shoe um i kind of wish they would have let that be but you know i guess it gives it character you know or whatever they were trying to go with it but uh, of course you got your sail midsole on these which is nice complements the shoe very well then of course you got your white on your side panels bring it around to the medial side you got the exact same thing on this side you've got your sail midsole you've got your orange nike check white on the mid panel and of course your olives on your upper olives olive green on your upper and then coming back around to the front of the shoe you got a nice toe cap right here in, in white as well um you know leather isn't nothing special you know it's your typical jordan one leather that you see on these but you know of course you've got a nice new buck wrapped around that toe cap as well on your tongue you've got a sail tongue uh which is kind of deconstructed as you can see on the side right here kind of got like an off-white look to it uh, we've seen a couple of other shoes like this in the past that's made like this those um this tongue reminds me of those uh volt goals that came out i want to say two years ago it was like the first shoe that released um of the year i want to say in 2021 i want to say it was but uh yep just the same deal just that deconstructed uh tongue of course you've got nike air branding in orange on your tag at the top right here on the bottom outsole olive green jordan one traction on these man arguably one of the best tractions on jordans now as far as the laces go they do come og laced with uh sail laces with these uh which is a nice touch i mean i think that's fine the way they are they do come with an extra set of what looks to be olive green so olive green laces is a second option they come in this cardboard box right here now shout out to the homie jay the sneaker guy man um those orange laces that he did in his review i think that's going to be the best look in my opinion um that orange just pops you know we're just hitting off the uh, ankle collar you know the uh tag right here and the nike check on the side that orange is crazy you know what i mean so i mean that's for me it would either be the sale or that orange so um that's just what i would do partially but other than that man it's a simple jordan one you know nothing too crazy about it you know you've seen one you've seen them all um comment below and let me know if these were a cop for you or is this something you're going to wait and go back and grab later um like i said for me it was a must cop because like i said i just love the colorway on the shoe and i'm a jordan one guy and i had to have them so it would be a nice way to kind of cap off 2023 and uh in the year with a banger in my opinion you know what i'm saying so um but another reason too is just i didn't know how limited these were when i saw that i can only get these on the sneakers app i kind of panicked a little bit i was like uh i better go and grab these now man because i don't know if you know these are going to be on the more limited side they're going to be hard to get and i'm at a point now man i'm not going all over town and websites tracking those shoes down you know what i'm saying um in, in most cases i like to pick up my shoes the same day that they release i'm not real big on ordering shoes on the sneakers app and waiting a week to get my shoes in hand i like to have them the day they release and partly because i want to give you guys a review as well you know what i mean after a week it's like ah we're already on to the next shoe so you know i get it you know but all in all this is a dope shoe man like i said definitely a nice way to end the year 2023 um in my opinion I gotta say this i gotta put this out there when it comes to jordan one colorways they definitely made a comeback this year man i mean jordan one's definitely made a statement this year because y'all know last year we was getting some whack colorways man i mean they were throwing me for a loop but this year man we definitely got some heat when it comes to jordan one colorways man so comment below and let me know what was your favorite colorway in the air jordan one this year um i know a lot of people are gonna start dropping their top tens they probably a lot of people already have um, I'm going to drop mine on New Year's Eve. I, I feel like that's just the best way to go ahead and do it, man. It's the last day of the year. So, you know, I'll do my top 10 on December 31st, which is this upcoming Sunday, man. And y'all will see what your boy went with, you know what I mean, on the uh, top 10 of 2023. But uh, one more 360 on these, man. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. 
like I said, I just pretty much wanted to let y'all know, man. I did grab the last release from Jordan Brand of 2023, man. But uh, that's pretty much it, man. That's all I got for y'all today, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in and checking out this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to check out my videos as well. 3K is up next, man. I truly appreciate the support as always, y'all. We actually hit the goal, man, that I wanted to hit by the end of the year, man. You know, as far as me taking some time off and hiatuses and things like that, man, you know, it's a start. You know what I mean? And uh, we definitely gonna get back to where we needed to be. And uh, all I ask is hit that like button for me, man. You know, um, it definitely helps me go a long way. It gives me the opportunity to be seen in more faces, more places and things like that. And uh, if we gonna hit this 10K goal, how else we gonna hit it if nobody can see me? You see how that works? So make sure you're hitting that like button if nothing else, man. It's free and that's all I ask. But uh, I'm out of here, y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. But before I go, I just wanna let you know, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So always put your best foot forward. And on that note, y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay fresh. And I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. All right, I'm gone.